Is this Boya microphone worth anything for 2019? Let's talk about it and let's update you guys. What's going on guys, Josh here. I am joshrussell.com. If you're new here, I do uh, tips and tricks on photo, cinema, and tech reviews. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. It helps me out and it keeps me motivated to do more videos. But it's, it's time to get into an update on the Boya BYMM1 and let's talk about how it is and if it's going to be worth anything in 2019 at a 30 some odd dollar microphone. Also before we get into this video, uh, this video is not sponsored. I bought the Boya BYMM1 quite a while ago and I've been using it but I wanted to let you guys know as per the FTC that th this is a straight up open review. I wasn't paid, I wasn't sent the microphone, I bought it off Amazon just like you. Uh, if you want to buy it, the link is down in the description below and I appreciate it if you click that link, it kind of helps me out. So let's get into the review right now. So the Boya BY-MM1 is a cheap cardioid microphone, uh, it's, it's like $30 to $40 on Amazon and this video, my last video, has gotten a ton, a ton, a ton of views. So I figured uh, it's, as it's going into 2019 right now, it's December of 2018, I figured I'd do an update video and let you guys know what I think about it and if it's even worth buying still. And for the most part, I would absolutely say at $30 or 40 or right around there, it's still a fantastic microphone. It works absolutely amazing for the price. It's cheap, it's actually a, a comparable to the Rode Video Mic, the Rode Video Mic Row. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty much the exact same microphone. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in focus here because I'm in focus, there we go. I mean, it is almost identical to the Rode Video Mic Row. And audio wise, it sounds fantastic. I actually, I used this microphone on my GoPro Hero 6 Black. Uh, now that I have the Hero 7 Black, I don't really use it as much, but I had this on my GoPro Hero 6 Black. It was my main vlogging camera. Uh, when I was walking around, you know, I'd have the microphone here, and it, it sounded fantastic. Even when you put the dead cat on it, it still sounds really good. Uh, we're gonna go through some audio tests here in a minute, but this is what it looks like with the dead cat on it. I actually, I made a smaller version of a dead cat. Uh, with just some felt that I bought at a hobby store and kind of just wrapped it around that way I wasn't carrying this big giant fluffy thing with me but it still worked really well we're gonna go through the audio so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through a couple tests I'm gonna do the onboard audio from my Panasonic G7 and then we will run through which is what you're hearing right now is my Rode Video Mic, Ro Mic Pro Plus and then we will run through it with the Boya BY MM1 with no dead cat on it, and then we'll do it with the dead cat on it. So there's gonna be multiple options. And then finally, the last one will be the Boya BY MM1 with uh, post processing done to it. So you can kind of hear how I clean it up when I'm doing it and what it sounds like. Because, like I said, at, at $30 or $40 price range, this is a fantastic microphone. Just so you guys know, the link is down below. If you wanna check it out on Amazon, I would appreciate that. If you end up buying it, let me know. Drop a comment, drop a link, let me know. And I would love to check out some of your videos using the Boya BY MM1 too. So if you use this microphone and you're watching this video, drop your link in the comments below. I wanna check it out and see how it compares to the videos that I shoot with it. Let's get into some audio tests. Let's hear how it sounds and let's go from there so let's drop it in right now all right so what you're hearing now is my Panasonic G7 onboard audio no post processing it's straight out of the camera what it sounds like we're in a studio the studio is about 400 square feet or so roughly uh, so you're hearing the audio I have no sound dampeners in here the only thing are my two computer monitors that are curved that I kind of use as a bounce and this is the sound from the onboard uh, Lumix G7 audio. Test one, two, three, four, five. What we'll do now is we will get into the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. All right, so the audio you're hearing now is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus 
uh, just straight up, uh, no, no plus or minus DB, no high pass filter on. This is just the uh, onboard audio, or the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus audio, no post processing, just straight out in the same room. Check mic one, two, three. Uh, this microphone is a $399 microphone as compared to what you're gonna be hearing next, which is like a $30 to $40 microphone. So this is the, once again, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Uh, a $399 microphone, which is my main uh, in-studio microphone. So check one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now you're hearing the Boya BY MM1. No post-processing done. This is straight off the microphone into the camera. I'm not using a third-party recorder like a Tascam or a you know a Zoom or anything like that. This is straight into the camera, onboard uh, sound audio profile. Uh, Boya BY MM1, no post-processing. Also, no dead cat. I still have the dead cat sitting right here. So this is what it sounds like in the same studio. Check one, two, three, four. Once again, this is a $40 microphone from Amazon, the Boya BY MM1. Okay, so now you're hearing the same microphone, the Boya BY MM1 with the dead cat on it. No post-processing, no editing of the audio. This is straight out of the Lumix G7 onboard uh, audio recording. Uh, no third party, so same studio setup. Uh, microphone check one, two, three. This is the Boya BY MM1 with the dead cat and no post processing. Okay, so now you're hearing the Boya BY MM1 with the dead cat onboard audio with post processing done in Adobe Audition. So you can hear it with just a little bit of a simple cleanup. This microphone for $40 is fantastic. Overall, I love this microphone for, for its price range. Like I said, I'll throw it on my GoPro and use the audio third extender thing that GoPro has. And it just, it works like a dream. It's small, it's cheap, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt to pick one up. I absolutely suggest everybody should have this that's especially starting out with video. And your camera does have an onboard uh, microphone input on it. So I have a Sony A5100, that doesn't have an audio input on it, so this would not work. Uh, with the GoPro Hero 6 or the 7, and I think the 5 as well, they sell a audio converter that go, plugs into the side of it and then this microphone works. So that's awesome. The fact that this microphone doesn't have a battery in it and it just runs right off the onboard power from your camera, that helps a lot. I love that feature. Just overall for $40, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. Uh, I hope uh, you guys like it. I hope you like the audio. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the audio. Like I said, I think it sounds great especially for $40. I mean, you're not going to get much better than that at that price range. I, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, once again, please remember, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you know when I drop new videos. That's going to be it for me today. It's been a long day in the new studio, and I just want to get out of here and get some rest and relaxation, but I know that's not going to happen, so I'm just going to go home and keep working on stuff. So, once again, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in another video real soon. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll see you guys later. Peace.